All right, and welcome to part four of Ties That Bind, part one. Enjoy. All right, so let's continue on. We are at Prescott. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, <coughs> game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. <clears throat> Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? Alright, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Good looking hand there. But not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottom Ooh. up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. <laughs> Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. All right, stop, seriously. This isn't getting you anything. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Okay. 
Got some it. nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I ought to punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking. What? did happen exactly. That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. But fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. Sorry, if there's, if there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you to that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair. And no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? I mean, you'd do that for me. It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Tripp more than I trust her. You're right. Tripp's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. Hi! And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. 
Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Memories. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning, all three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, that was a bit better than last time, I guess. Proud of you, Clam. I don't know why you can't just drive. You already know how. Well, simple science. We'll get there faster with two drivers. Besides, you gotta learn sometime, Clem. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but it was something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and look how he turned out. Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! Okay. Shit. Help me up. I don't. I don't feel anything. That's good. No, oh, Clem. I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. Damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, 
Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Jim. Come on! Oh, man. It's gonna be rough. Damn it! Yes, sir, the only one from the beginning is Clementine now. Hey, Clem. We almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. But why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. You know, there's not much mystery to it, Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? said lock yourself in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop you did exactly what you should have done i always knew you were a smart kid thanks it was scary at first but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore they just passed by kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go find your brother sweetheart Oh, no. No. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. And I, we appreciate all the support you've given us. And please check out our uh, playlist, you know, the next video, Patreon page, and random video. I don't know why. It's random, so go, go with it. And also, please like and comment and subscribe to this video. And subscribe to our channel of course not subscribe to the video right and that's it